Coe's family is currently demanding that the investigation into Leo Williams' death be reopened. Now, let's remind you, this little nine-year-old mm. died two years ago after being hit by a rubber bullet during a service delivery protest. Police watchdog IPID concluded its investigation, but it's uh, been unable to identify any suspects. Well, here's ENCS Moni Mortlock, who filed this report. Nine-year-old Leo Williams was struck by a rubber bullet while sitting inside a shack watching TV during a service delivery protest. Last August, Leo's foster mother, Kathy Thomas, told us she won't arrest until those responsible for his death are arrested. Thomas died a few days later, before the IPED investigation concluded. Now that IPID has concluded its probe and unable to identify any suspects, the family is once again devastated. The family wants the investigation to be reopened. The outcome of the probe has angered the small community as well. Last week, the community decided to have a march again on the 21st of March, that is uh, next week, Monday, where we will hand over a memorandum to the DPP as well as to IPAD to demand them to put this case into review again. And we also um, ask the Minister of Police to come down to receive the memorandum. And the community is, is, is very strong about if the Minister will not come to receive the memorandum, they will not back down. That is how the community feel. And as I said, the situation is very, very volatile at this stage. Anything can happen at any time. The Human Rights Commission says it will also not leave the matter. We can ask the IPA to reopen that case, as they've done before with others, to go into the case again and look and speak to the witnesses. However, what we will do is, first of all, listen to the family and, and, get, and guided by the family as to what they think, where we can assist them to, to bring justice to them. The HRC promises to visit the family and meet community leaders to see if brewing tensions can be quelled. Monique Mortlock, Langville on the West Coast.